ellipses. So today I will be flipping through photo albums and going down memory lane. So thank you to everyone joining me today. For this begins, if you'd like to subscribe, and just make sure you hit the notification icon because I do upload every day and I also have a website. The name is TonyBomboni.com, just as my name is spelled out, all one word. And I look forward to doing your tarot readings on there, Reiki healings, and much more. So, as I'm filming this right now, my brother is going into the operating room for a second surgery on his eye. So, thank you to everyone who donated. Big, big help. Thank you. Big help and support. Um, I really do appreciate it. <clears throat> and we're just hoping for the best. And I just overall have a feeling everything will be okay. Thank you all for the positive encouragement that you have given. Um, it just helped reading so much support and love. So, yeah. Thank you. Okay. So let's begin. Let's have this fabulous <laughs> peacock box. <laughs> Reveal some photographs and such. I think I've already shown these, so I'm not going to show these specifically. I'll just put them aside. But I guess I could start with this one. I'll just kind of go as it is. And I'll flip through, it might be hard to see this. Um, fully, so you might want to watch in uh, full screen to really uh, see clearly. So some of these I just um, will not show for privacy. I kind of maybe should have thought that out first. <laughs> but oh yeah, <laughs> this is one of the ones that uh, I was talking about. Like this was the house we used to live in. I miss that house to this day. It was just enormous. And yep, all the stories I told you guys about. There's the Mercedes. This was one of our first cars. Oh my god. I actually like can't believe I forgot about it. Oh childhood friends. This was one of my birthdays. We had like a SpongeBob themed birthday party. That was so fun. It was like a family uh, friends because um, they were the, the three sons of my family's friends at the time. And oh my god. <laughs> I remember this so much. Like all the beach time. This was like the family friend. Oh my god. Even one of my mom's friends from Macedonia. The neighbors. There were this elderly couple and then another neighbor down the road that was that like fence we used to have that was our first like actual house we bought because we used to live in um apartments in chicago look at me all grumpy there <laughs> oh i remember that guy too oh my god like everyone was there that's crazy yeah 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 well this lady the sweet lady her husband recently passed um i ooh. She babysat us once. Look at me making the dorky, silly face. Like, I was always like, dory, like a, a special weird kid. Like, I look at everyone all normal in me. I'm just like, duh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's him. I think that's him. Yeah, God. May he rest in peace. Oh, my God. That's him. Oh, my gosh. Memories. Memories. All right. So. Um... And my brother. <laughs> I still remember that jacket and how it felt. 
Oh my god. So we were just kind of like in the car, I guess. This was in like... Oh, this was in Macedonia. That was my brother in Macedonia. No way. Oh my gosh. That was one of their houses. Um, I think... Mm, I'm not sure whose house that is. But there's a cake in the shape of Macedonia with all the main roads and the lakes. I mean... That must have been hard to make. <laughs> I don't know who did that, but... Oh yeah, this was the house on the lake they had. Yep, yep, yep. They have a lake house. My family... Oh my god. Honestly, you guys think we have a lot here. My family in Macedonia are decked out. Um, I don't know how they did it. They have boats, trucks. Like, I'm not talking pickup trucks. I'm talking trucks. Like, they have restaurants. They have bars. They have... Like, they own so much. Like, they are decking out. I don't know why they want to come to this country, but they have a lot there. They have lake houses and paid off houses. I'm like, oh Lord have mercy. I don't know who these ladies are. Hmm. Oh, I remember her. That was my auntie. That's my auntie. That's, um, oh my God. I remember now. This is, um, another childhood friend. Wow. Wow. Oh, and then there's Elena. I remember her. And then I think, um, I don't know, but this was like, I think my brother, yeah, my brother, because he has the birthday hat on his 10th birthday. Wow, so I must have been seven there. So this was uh, one time we were in Macedonia. So yeah, that's my Macedonian family. <laughs> and there's my auntie's brother, so my uncle there, I guess, on the lake. Wow, he's very young there. Wow. And there's my auntie again. Oh my god, I just want to like send... And tell my mom to send her some of these pictures now. <laughs> she probably has them, though. I briefly remember some of these girls. I don't know. They're probably, like, in their th 30s by now. There's me, of course. I gotta dig into the cake. Oh, wow. I briefly remember this phone. This old phone and this calendar. The calendar says 2001. Wow. So, that was, like, the year 9-11 happened. So, that was... I was, like, in... First grade? Or don't just getting out of kindergarten, I think. No, no, first grade, sorry, first grade. Maybe getting out of first grade, going to second, because that was the summer break. I always went to Macedonia over summer. Um, I went there like five times, so, yeah. Um, I don't remember this room, though. I don't I know whose house that is. Um, I was always grumpy. I was always grumpy. Virgo, right? Like, everything always bothered me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. This was one of the parks. Yeah, you see how the houses are there. It's, like, very... Very simple back then. Not a lot going on back then. And Macedonia has one of... Came a long way. It's, I think, more developed now. And they're still growing, obviously. There was us just having ice cream at the park. <laughs> so there's that. <clears throat> so I'm going to um, pull out oops, some more pictures. I think I showed all of these last time. That was my first pet bird. <laughs> the cockatiel was just sitting on my lap. Yeah, I think I've shown all these, I'm pretty sure. Um, there's me as a baby. <laughs> so it might be hard to see. I might have to like actually zoom in further just so you can um, really get a close up. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure oh, that's me like flat up baby. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't remember showing these. I don't know. I don't think I did. I think I did a lot of them though, like because I this is like my third photo album video for the years, so I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I that was our first like little TV like it was a white little TV. I mean, no wonder we damaged our eyes like growing up. It's just just yeah 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 briefly briefly. I don't know who these ladies are. 
well, probably mom's friends or something, but. <clears throat> oh, this was at the airport when we went to Macedonia the first time. Um, I didn't show it, but I was so nervous. Like, anxiety up the... Like, so much anxiety. But <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I showed those. Like, just pretending like, to be alright, not to scare anyone, but, like, the anxiety... I think the anxiety started then. Like, when, when you're just a kid and you're told to, um, go to a foreign country on your own, like... Yeah, terrifying. So, I think this is when we returned from Macedonia because we were all tan. <laughs> and so we were like, welcome home. And it felt so real to be back home. Mm. Yeah. We felt so happy, I guess. Uh, my mom and, again, their childhood friends. I guess we're at the pier. <laughs> oh, and there's her friend playing putting golf, mini golf. So, I won't show you everything because this video will be an eternity. These are hard to see. Oh, this is one of the vacation villas we rented. I, I still miss that place, those homes. Like, this was a big deal back then to, like, rent a vacation villa in Florida. If you're from Illinois, it's like, you had to be bougie, you know? And this wasn't just... I mean, these were pretty, like... I mean, people did it all the time. You know, middle class income, I mean... But I guess it, it kind of shows how good life was back then. Like, it, it you know... If you went once a year on vacation, you were considered pretty fortunate, even if you're just middle class, right? Like, nowadays, if you're middle class, it's like, well, you have to, like, put it on a credit card or something, right? I guess people did back then, too. I mean, that's life. <laughs> There's my mom in the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> yeah, we spent a lot of beach days. A lot, a lot. I mean, I think we went to the beach, like, every day. I mean, that's why I'm so dark nowadays. Like, uh, I mean, we went to the beach like every day uh, when we were on vacation. Oh, I did not even recognize my mom here. I'm like, who is that? <laughs> she's like, I'm ready for the, the Golden Globes. That's how she's dressed in her hair. Whoa, like she was dressed fancy. She got her jewels on. My mama was fancy. She always is. <clears throat> So, I showed, I think, a lot of these, I remember. Oh, she still looks the same. Like, like my mom does not age. Like, I, she, oh, I think I remember. Yeah, this was, I think, Columbia Restaurant. I really liked that restaurant. My mama does not age. I remember when she had pre-cancer, I think she came home and, um... Oh, no, no, no. Was this... Or no, I think these were the flowers for the new house. And then shortly after they said she had... I, th I think it was something like that. But she healed and recovered, thank God. That was like over 20 years ago. But... Yeah. <clears throat> I don't remember too many of these. This was a wedding. I was nervous. There. Like, I always felt so much anxiety. Like, like, looking back, you could never tell on my face. I was so shy. So much anxiety. Like, whoa. I don't know how I covered it very well. I was even nervous to go on the plane to go on vacation to Florida with my family. Like, because I'm always like, oh my god, what if the plane crashes? Like, I, so much, like, overthinking. And <laughs> this is my mom with, like, one of those old cameras. Um, yeah. My mom's very, very brave to have came here all on her own. Oh yeah, I think this was one of the real estate agents. Yeah, they became quick friends and... <clears throat> and this was a, I think it was like a Greek party or celebration or something, I don't know. Like one of them married a lady from, I think this guy married a lady from Cuba and now she like 
I still remember her. Apparently she, oh, there she is. Yeah. Sandra, I remember her. Yeah. This was like back in Chicago. Um, she, she was so awesome, but now she's like owns her own, um, eyebrow blading school and, um, pro she sells products. Like she's a big deal now, actually. Good for her. She used to work at a nail salon, I remember. Um, I still remember when she was pregnant with her first child. Like, with so many memories. I was like, I was like, can I hold your belly? <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I keep clearing my throat. I don't know what's wrong. I think I had a, because I had a bowl of fruit. ate it too fast and kind of came back up a bit. <clears throat> Jungle Trail. Don't you just love the sound of it? The paper, the album. Let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. Mayan Ruins. Yeah, this reminds me of the zoo I just went to recently. I want to go see the zoo in Miami. The, the, the largest zoo. That will be a fun adventure. I can't wait. I hope to go in March. But I want to go with someone I have no one to go with. <laughs> oh my god, see what I mean? Like, we were always on the beach. Like, literally. We are always outside. I'm surprised we didn't get, like, a skin condition. Oh, I think this was Milwaukee Airport. We still go there to this day sometimes when we fly into Chicago. My family's actually supposed to go to Illinois, like, today, but, well, yeah, this emergency surgery was unexpected. Um, this was the Macedonian Fair, so they were dancing, and this was, I think, in Indiana. Usually they host these events in, like, Gary, Indiana. There are a lot of Macedonians there, so <clears throat> they were in their, like, folklore, traditional outfits. Oh, there's my mom's brother. Oh, my gosh. And there's my mom, yeah. Oh, that's the dress. I think I remember that dress. She still has it. Wow. She was right when she told me she she was. I mean, she still is, but she's like very skinny growing up, and that's where I got it from. I think that's my auntie. I think. I'm pretty sure. It looks like her. Yeah, those '80s outfits. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah, that's it from that box. I'm gonna open this. Pretty sure I showed this. Let me just make sure. Yeah. I am pretty confident I did. Yep, I did. Okay, so we recently saw this album. I believe. There's just a lot of the same type of pictures. So sometimes, you know, they when back then you used to have to like come in and you know have them printed for you and they would come in like duplicates. so you could have like one of each, right? So, oh, I don't know if I ever showed this, so. All right, um. Uh -huh, we were in the clown makeup that I don't even barely remember that, the pumpkin. This, I kind of remember, I think that, oh yeah, there was a, now I remember, there was a, um, What do you call it? Like a fire safety prevention, like a, a clown. I don't even know if I want to call it a clown affair. I mean, I don't even remember what the heck, but um, yeah. So I hope you can see, but this was another birthday party. I don't remember that kid, but I remember Joel. That was my brother's childhood friend. Oh, they go way back. They went way back. Oh, it was his ninth birthday, so I was six there. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. <laughs> the little broomstick. See, I told you I was witchy even back then. I had the little, uh, remember Mickey Mouse with the witch? I don't know if you remember that, but like that always kind of vibed with me. Like, I'm telling you. Oh, 
was my mom when she had very long hair. We were so little. I think that was Easter. <laughs> my brother fell asleep. There's me blowing out the candles. What birthday was that? Let me count. One, two, three, four, five. Five or six. I think five. Oh, yeah. This was all my classmates. They all came at, um, I think, Chuck E. Cheese. And this was my birthday cake. And we were celebrating. And, um... I remember I peed myself. <laughs> I had so much anxiety. Okay, there you could tell I was anxious. Like all my classmates, yeah. I grew up on a Korean street, so they were pretty much all Korean except for a couple of kids. So I, I told you, here's evidence, like literally. I grew up on a Korean street. Um, and I don't know, I was, I, I, I didn't know all the classmates, I was very shy, and I was like anxious, I still remember that shirt, that girl was wearing the Powerpuff Girl shirt, my brother was wearing that one, yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I had one or two good friends in that class, but we still weren't that close, so they at least made me feel more comfortable, that train set, look at that train set, that, I still remember the smell of that, we were playing with it when we were celebrating Y2K, I remember those uh, masks, Bugs Bunny and Tweety Bird. Yeah, that apartment was uh, awesome. It was a very spacious apartment. Um, it had a fire, I mean, no, I don't think this one had a fireplace, did it? I don't know, yeah, I think it did. Um, I mean, like wood floors and like all that back then, I mean, shoot, that was, that was good. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is when we sang like on stage and oh my gosh. Um or uh, that was my friend Anna, I think. Yeah. And um we were singing like five golden rings like we were supposed to sing um Was I the only Oh my god. I was the only white boy there. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Oh, my mom like wrapped me up in a blanket outside. Yeah, but we were singing like Christmas carols and stuff like that. That was a, that was a good time. But I was like, I can't wait for it to be over because I remember how much we had to rehearse for that mini concert. <laughs> I did not like going on stage at all. That's all. Oh yeah. There's yeah, we're childhood friends. We had the there was a Thomas. I still remember that shirt. He was <laughs> a rebel. He had a shirt that said, I eat glue. <laughs> My brother, and that's Patrick, and then that's Marino, and then that's me. Patrick actually, he's a survivor of the um Virginia tech I don't want to say the keyword, but pow pow pow, you know. God forbid. Um, yeah, he was actually one of the students there, but he survived, but he had still a piece, I guess. So there's a lot of history in these pictures, you know. Um, so, but I hope he's okay. Um, this was our second house we ever bought. Uh, I do miss that house. And that, that Chrysler, I mean, oh, I miss that car too. That was such a cozy car, those seats. I love the house. This was probably my favorite house. I don't know why we ever gave it up to go into even a bigger house. I was like, you know, it was a bit much. But this was the tower in Cavadarci, Macedonia. That it's just somewhere, it's kind of like abandoned, but people just go there to like write their names on it. And I did that a couple times. So maybe my initials are still there. Probably not because they cover them all the time with like, usually they paint over it after a while and then you have to do your initials again. Because people do like the spray paint, the graffiti, all that. So, <laughs> there I am. The Dalmatian shirt. 101 Dalmatians. Oh my god, yeah. This, I was doing that like, rrr, like weird face because um, that's when my mom was like, always hearing me say, I want to be a teacher, I want to be a teacher. 
and that was the first profession I wanted to do with my life and so she's like I'm gonna take a picture at the part where you go teacher because I always say her like this with my lip er so that's when I went teach I want to be a teacher and she took the picture while I was coloring in a book hey technically I teach to this day you know I teach a lot of stuff online to you guys this was another Halloween costume I don't know what I was dressed as my brother was dressed as like I guess uh I don't know what you call it. I lost the word. Yeah, there was one Halloween costume. I guess my brother had like two different costumes that year. So. Oh yeah, there was the freaking crazy clown. I'm sorry if you have a fear of clowns, look away, but this was the the fair, the clown fair, where it was about fire safety, so we were wearing our fire hydrant hats and uh, outfits, and yeah, we had to like, they put us in a, a fire truck and they told us to like duck and cover and they released fake gas and steam and we had to like check the temperature of the door, see if it was okay, and then walk out. So that was, if that didn't trigger my childhood anxiety, I don't know what would have child they scared us early on didn't they so there <laughs> there's the santa claus that was a fun day there was like you know just a fair where you could get stuff and so a lot of these are kind of like repetitive stuff i've already spoken about Ah, uh, that house. That was a good time. This was when we put in the gazebo and oh, that was so cozy. You could just sit out there in the rain and yeah. We were happy kids. This was, I think, um, Christmas. Yeah. So that was my brother was exuberant because he had the Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo GameCube. That was his gift. That was my Tigger shirt. <laughs> People used to always call me Tony the Tiger. Yeah, that was the house. That was the house. Never gonna forget that house, but it kind of gives me an eerie feeling because we had so many bad memories there, but also good. That was the house with a bunch of snow. <laughs> we were playing in it. I remember going sledding in the backyard because there were kind of hilly backyards in Illinois. So, but I forgot the lack of privacy. Holy cow, like there were house to house to house to house to house. Yeah, I think I was 12 when we moved in there. I think we were overwhelmed because like we, were, we weren't used to like all this. I think this is when we started growing kind of like into teenage years and more not that happy, you know, like we, I was kind of more serious. I think it was a bit much, you know, for our family because it was very expensive to live there and maybe, you know, We didn't consider certain things that, see, that's when my hair was like three or four inches long. I looked totally different when I played clarinet. That I always rehearsed in that room. I had those Pokemon bed sheets. Oh my God. So yeah. Yep, I always liked Zoomies, uh, hoodies. It was kind of surreal looking back like, oh wow, that actually happened. Like this was actually a part of my life, you know? I think that was the Ringling Museum in the state. Oh, excuse me. I don't know what that was. Probably some wedding or something. But, um. Yeah. 
through. Alrighty. So, we have, I think, a few more to get to. Um, there's this album. I don't know what to expect, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, it's this way. I think it's this way. There we go. One of my school shots, so hey, you never know. I mean, some people already call me a celebrity, even though I don't. That is far from the case. <laughs> um, you know how celebs always have that like yearbook photo? Well, there's mine. There's mine if someone wants to post it online. There's a couple of them. <laughs> like, oh, this is how they looked like as a kid. You never know. My videos may start blowing up. <laughs> um, this, oh wow, I don't know what that is. Oh, and this was the one of the condos we owned at the same time uh, in Florida. Oh my gosh, I still remember that. It had a garage, I don't remember that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a very beautiful condominium. Yeah. Mm hmm. They're still there to this day. Yeah. This one we were like house hunting. Oh, yeah, I think this was the property also. My family bought a, a lot there. It's still there. I actually just drove by it the other day. Um, yeah, this must have been like a safari with like different animals. Oh, I think this is universal. I'm not sure. Oh, my one of um, my brother's uh, teachers, I think in fifth grade. They were. Um, having something, I don't know what it was, some event, or maybe it was graduation, I'm not sure, but. Oh my god, I brought that plush toy everywhere, I still have that plush toy. Oh my gosh, I forgot how long I had that one. Navy Pier, been there so many times. showing you stuff I don't I'm trying to remember if I which ones I haven't shown you yet so there's a lot of repeats and stuff I from older videos I think I've already shown that guy I don't know who that is I know who that is that's my brother but this guy I think that's his brother maybe he looks familiar I, I even forgot Honestly, that he existed well. Where were they grilling? Whose house was this? Oh, I think that was her house. One of my mom's friends. Who's that? I don't remember any of these people. Who's that girl? I don't know who any of these people are. Huh? I don't know. No clue. You meet him once and then take a picture and it's like you never see him again. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Hmm. Well. Mm, these are my brother's yearbook photos. There's me. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't remember this date posed me next to crayons. That is so funny. Look at me like, duh. <laughs> I was always zoned out. <laughs> I don't know. Whose baby 
maybe that is. Oh, wait, is that? Wait a minute, I think that's my auntie's first child. Oh my god, these are, I think, my cousins from, they're, they live in Canada. Oh, she was so little. Yeah, 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 I remember these two. Yeah, that's my auntie and her husband. Oh, there, yeah, there was I in their balcony. Oh my god, that was an awesome house, too. Yeah, the, when we went to the lake, that's her mom. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Sorry about the noise, my battery. Oh my gosh. Yeah, my great uncle. He used to always work in his garage, make fix cars, build boats. Oh. I don't know who that is, honestly. I have no clue. Um, that's my uncle and his now wife, I think. Yeah. She was awesome. So, okay. Were pics of the house when they were building it up. Yeah, that's how it looked. I remember being so excited to move into that spacious home that I um, was okay with just like falling asleep on the floor the first night <laughs> when they were putting in the tile. And... Oh, yeah, I remember that lush green Illinois grass. I do miss that. Yeah, the entrance, they had wood floors at first. No freaking way. Because that ended up being all marble tile. So they changed it. Yeah, this was the... I can't believe they put this crappy flooring for such a beautiful house. Oh my god, and they put such crappy cabinets. Yeah. I remember my dad put like a hundred grand just to like fix it up. And make it our own. Yeah. They even put carpeted stairs. Yeah, now I remember because yeah, like all the other neighbors had like the carpets and then like the almost like vinyl tiles. I'm like, you don't do that in such a big house. <laughs> they made it look like fixer upper. But yeah, then they fixed it up real good. a lot. Yeah, this is why sometimes I don't like looking at past memories because I'm like, well, everything was so good back then. We had it so good, like humanity in general, I think, and, um, you know, you miss some stuff and you're like, sometimes wondering to yourself, how am I going to ever get that back, you know? But you never know where life takes you. It might be hard to show you everything because this album is elongated, so I'm not like I have to make you see. Like, look at the mess I made. <laughs> this is this is how it looks like, right? <laughs> I just zoom out a bit. You're gonna see my microphone, but yeah, just so you can see all the pictures. Oh my God, there's my half uncle, and we were in the um, vineyards. My grandfather, who just recently passed, um, on my mom's side. This was his vineyard. It's huge. Yeah. This was the lake house they had. Everybody had a damn lake house. <laughs> they had their own house, and they had a lake house, and then they built a third house. I'm like, so y'all, they be decking out there, okay? I don't know why they want to come here. 
Oh yeah, look at that overly long baggy shirt. Like I loved overly long like clothing, baggy clothing. Like I was so self-conscious and insecure about how skinny I was. So just anything to cover up my skinniness <laughs> made me feel kind of covered and protected. Right, this I think was Wisconsin Dells. Swimming in the pool. We also had a timeshare there. So yeah, at one point we had a large house. <laughs> that large house I showed you. Um, we were renting out two other houses, a timeshare, and we had a lot. And we had a Mercedes and two other cars. <laughs> yeah, so um, those were when times were very good and freedom and you could do whatever. And we were going to Macedonia and we just... Like, literally, I think um, we were spoiled. <laughs> but you guys know the story. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> things took a turn for the worst. Let's put it that way, so. Oh my god, I remember that Tarzan shirt. That was a game store. What was that? One nineteen ninety nine, each with trade in. What is that? I don't know. That sounds like a lot of money for those times. Ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Engage. Sony PlayStation Two online pack one forty nine ninety nine. That sounds like a lot of money even for those time. What the hell? Our first dog, but I never got to see that Labrador because I was in Macedonia. I don't know why my brother was crying. That was our second dog. First dog to me. Little Bijan. He always peed in the house though. <laughs> it was quite irritating. This was my what? Let me count the candles again. <laughs> Look at me stuffing my face and ugh, I was always a foodie for sweets. One, two, I think three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think 11th birthday. This was my brother's fifth birthday cake. He had Sonic the Hedgehog. This, um, was my brother's fourth birthday. So this was, I think, Lion King. Yep, yeah, Lion King theme. So. This was my um, mom's brother when we visited him, him in Macedonia. Remember this street? My friends lived like next door to us and then down the street there and then on this side couple other school friends. Oh, and I remember this childhood friend and my second cousin, I think. He's like so little here and I'm like, I hear that he now just graduated like a PhD or something like that. It's like crazy how time flies. I wish I saw that cute dog. Oh. Thirteenth birthday cake. I had a fruit cake. I used to hate fruits, but on cake it was acceptable. <laughs> so there's these. Um, first time I went to California, and um, I can zoom in all the way now. so grumpy because it took forever to get there. <laughs> A lot of these are repeats, guys. I mean, let's see if I can show you something more interesting. I think I've already shown these. 
ones actually. It's mostly like family portraits and such. <laughs> um, I think a lot of it's like repeat. But I hope you enjoy the sounds of flipping through photos. I'm definitely not a picture taker, so like, but I'm glad these photos exist because without them, it would have been no memories, you know? Yeah, these are all just, it was my mom on her wedding day. <laughs> and they're at the church. you want repeats. So there's a few more here and then one more photo album and then we're done. So um not sure why these are kind of taken out but um, oh I guess that was my brother's gift or something like a little bike. Holy crow. No, it doesn't show the day, just the time. It's like, wait. Um, I don't know who these people are, honestly. No clue, really, to be honest. No clue, so. Yeah. Alright, so here's the last album. To zoom. <laughs> Just trying to see if I haven't shown anything interesting. Just enjoy the sound while I try to find something I've never shown you. There's more than these pics, obviously, but. Um, a lot of it ended up in uh, other family members' hands. I'll just put it there. It's crazy to think like my brother was there and while I was a baby, like, <laughs> Yeah, I think that's it, guys. I mean, I've already shown you, like, pretty much all these. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed as much as I enjoyed filming for you. And I will see you around. Please make sure you subscribe, tap the bell, and all notifications. Check my website, TonyBomboni.com, to book your personal services and private custom tarot readings and much more from me. It helps fund and support this channel to keep going. Keep the lights on. Help me produce daily content for you. <laughs> I love you all so much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.